Here are some special considerations when you have a lot of people that are joining an online meeting. Now, when you have many people here, it can be a little bit awkward to raise your hand or want to interrupt. So a lot of web conferencing tools like Zoom has the ability for you to raise your hand and just let the person who's hosting the meeting know that you'd like to be called on. Now, sometimes you can also raise your hand for real. People can see that. But make sure that you have rules of engagement set up before. For example, some people will put their message in the chat. Someone else can be monitoring the chat and then interrupt the speaker when the timing is appropriate. But another great thing to do, especially if you're doing an internal team meeting, is open up a Slack room. Now, when you start a Slack that's related to whatever meeting you're talking about, the benefit is that you can go back and historically see what was discussed. So it's a live thread of the meeting notes. But my favorite part is that you can actually start a sub thread based on any question that was asked. So that sometimes if someone asks three questions in a row, you can answer the first question and go in deep or maybe start another conversation, pull in the right people. So considering using, consider using Slack on your next meeting. Now, a lot of people also are using Google Hangouts. Hangouts is a wonderful tool, but there's some challenges that you need to be aware of. So unlike Zoom, where you can do certain things like polls or breakout rooms, Hangouts is a free service and offers a lot of the same benefits where the chat is there, but it's hard to switch between active speakers. Or if you have one big room with a camera, but you want to just focus on one person, there's ways around it, but it's more challenging. Also recording. Whenever you record a meeting, you have to make sure that you do it in the right way. You can pull up QuickTime or another app, or there might be some integrations, but it's not out of the box like some other tools. So there's trade-offs with different tools of what you could be using. So make sure that you evaluate them for what is best for the type of meeting that you're running. If it's something that you want to do quick and easy and you already have access to Google Hangouts, test it out. See what kind of offers are there. Do some tech checks beforehand, like making sure your sound and output volume are working. Or if you want to present it on the screen, do you do that with Wi-Fi? Or do you have to connect it with HDMI? Make sure that you set it all up before everybody joins and you test it. So the first experience people have is a positive one. And you're more likely to have a strong engagement in the future.